Hello friends, welcome to Sunny Art. Today I want to show you a very very simple project, painting project on this wooden tag. So this wooden tag you can use as a bookmark, as a keychain or as a um, tag for your travel luggage. Okay, so I will show you a very simple painting that everybody just follow my tutorial and you can paint it. Okay, so today I will show you this um, blue wildflower, little wildflower okay and also this simple daisy for the project we use only a uh, filbert brush number two and a liner and the color i use ultramarine blue white color one bright yellow uh, for the leaf uh, pine green and moss green okay so i already traced this tag pattern on the sketchbook so i will show you on the sketchbook okay just trace so if you want to base coat on the wood you can base any color you like you can have a dark color surface or you can have a light color surface it's just up to you so the the basic base coating technique you can refer to my other video uh, just apply one layer of the pen then uh, sand with around 180 sandpaper after you sand blow dry and you apply another layer of acrylic paint then can start painting I already sketched out the pattern here okay now I will take the ultramarine blue to paint the flower ultramarine you can have also some white color tip okay just follow the sketch two stroke common stroke go to the center All the simple stroke that I teach before in other painting just the normal common stroke press and lift okay so you can have the contrast of the color like if you want slightly darker blue then you have have a darker blue if you want lighter blue then you can add more white color or another method is you just paint all in uh, ultramarine blue all in blue color five petals okay five petals for, for the flowers and then this one is hiding at the back so I want it only three petals can be slightly lighter color so I will add slightly more white color so you can turn your sketchbook so easier for you to paint So you take only the uh, ultramarine blue. Always go to the center. So this one is a very simple painting. Maybe you can complete in only 10 minutes. You can paint on a notebook. You can paint on um, a canvas bag. On your shoe, maybe okay decorative painting is very fun because you can paint on any surface you want done there's a small flower bud here always go to the center okay then wash your brush then we now we change to a liner brush liner brush and take the white color take only the white color This one is a very good liner from Germany. I like to use this brush. Okay, you see I hold the brush very near to the hair. So easy for me to control. So from the center, we paint some line. Okay, very fine line. Just like that. Okay, so come from the center. Try to try to be as fine as possible the line.
so this you need to practice you just use uh, the tip of the brush You no need to reload again the, the pen because this one, this brush is animal hair so it can have more pen on the brush it's not like nylon done then I will use a stylus okay, stylus this one we call stylus okay, then dip onto the uh, yellow pen I like I use this is um bright yellow just dot in the center. See very simple. Done already. Then for the leaves, we use the same color pie green. Always the same the leaf I use only two color pie green and moss green. So you can blend in these two color together to paint paint the stem. Design quite a number of um, painting for beginner for you easy to start and just use the 16 color set from Sunni Art so it's easy for you to start actually uh, in the market there's a lot of, lot of different different acrylic paint different brand of acrylic paint uh, but I found that it's easier for you to start with only few colors so you no need to invest so much okay then I will use the filbert again, number two, filbert again to paint the leaves. See how I do the color, how I, I mix the color. I take the uh, moss green or you can take the pine green first, just dip a bit on the pine green so you will see two color tone. Okay, don't blend it. So just, this one is also a comma stroke, a comma. This one you need to practice. Okay. This one I forgot to paint the stamp, so I paint again. Then here you paint the calyx. Can using the same brush or you can use your liner. I just lazy to change. A very simple project then here you can write anything you want so after that if you you paint on a wooden tag you have to blow dry after you blow dry everything just varnish for a few layers to for the final production okay done let us continue painting the daisy now okay now I would like to sketch first you see I want I want to have three daisy so you have to sketch it first maybe here one another one you have to see the direction like this one maybe uh, if half open so this tree this tree pattern might be slightly folded then the leaf just casual you can add anywhere you want okay casual leaf that's all maybe you want another tree but here one here maybe that's that's all okay so for the daisy i use only filbert number two because it's a very small flower because the tag also uh, uh, quite small okay just a small tag so you don't need to to paint a very big flower so you use filbert number two so the the size of the the brush uh the, the actually the size of the flower determined by the size of the brushes 
if you have a silver number two means that it's a small brush then you can paint small flower if you want to paint a bigger flower maybe you have to change to silver number four number six or number eight usually in odd number okay so for this project i use silver number number two then now i take only the white color i paint the daisy first so i have few tutorials to, uh, to to teach you the uh, uh, daisy painting you can refer to other video also okay just paint the center first this uh, the daisy i use only comma stroke comma comma okay so this one is the center center it will be a tail drop stroke tail drop press lift okay tail drop then the rest are comma always remember go to the center Go to the center if you cannot very hard for you to paint then you can slightly turn the board turn turn the, the sketchbook or turn the board if you paint on the if you paint on the wooden tag okay so this one i would like to come from the bottom always remember go to the center okay done this one slightly okay so another one this one i want it to be the center i mean start from here teardrop then comma you just need to practice your very basic stroke is the common stroke okay because only with the common stroke you can paint a lot of flowers then i want this three petal like folded like that okay so the stroke is just press and lift also a common stroke okay so another one here uh, center good job then maybe here slightly overlap If you found that the brush is a bit dry, then you have to load again. Load means you take uh, some, take the paint again. Okay. Okay. Done. Okay. Now I paint the center. Wash the brush. Always remember have to wash the brush and wipe and wipe off. I mean, have to dry it. With a kitchen towel or or tissue. Now paint the center. The center I like to use the uh, this bright yellow for the center. Just paint the bright yellow first. Why I want to paint the white color first? Because the surface, the back back color is uh, in black color. So if you don't paint in white color later, the white the 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 yellow color cannot be seen so clearly. Then I use the. Uh, this uh, burnt sienna for the base here, uh, like a shading, like a shading. So before the burnt sienna, burnt sienna dry, blend a bit with the, blend in, just dab with the uh, yellow color. Okay, just blend in before the burnt sienna is dry. Then you can have also some orange if you want orange color make it more brighter. Okay, you see the tone is very nice already. Then I would like to have some white color also for the highlight. Here. Just imagine if the the light is coming from here. <coughs> We paint the flower, the, the bud. White color, this one you have to, to paint two strokes. Also, comma. One, two, three. If the uh, if if the stroke is too small, then you can have uh more 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 strokes. Just like that, a round circle. Done? 
then we change wash the brush again when you want to change color wash the brush now we use the green color for the leaf same I, I will dip into the pine green first then I will take some moss green don't blend the color well okay you still can see two colors you can still can see uh, pie green you still can see light green two green colors okay just casually where you want to put the leaf just also two strokes uh, I mean just like also the, the, the common strokes very casual I like I like casual I like casual painting okay no stress just relax okay so you can see different tone you can see dark and light green sometimes I like to have some decoration like that line okay so here for the bud the flower bud here you can have the calyx and then I use the same brush chisel to paint the, the stem that's all done already so so easy just draw some decoration okay this it is up to you if you don't like you just leave it okay then you can use the same color the ultramarine blue to paint some little wildflowers ultramarine blue again you no need to have a lot of color just pour a little bit so you will put the ultramarine color first let me take some color first Okay, so just depends on where you want to put the color. Maybe here, very empty, so I have put the white, uh, blue color first. Here, some flower, some flower. So always in triangle. Okay, so means always have your flower in different three different position, so it, it will looks more full. Okay, then take uh, the white color. Just paint some white color, small flower petals, okay? Done. Very simple. So blow dry, if you put you, you paint on the wood, the same. Blow dry, then you have to erase, erase all the pencil mark or the tracing mark. After you blow dry, erase everything, then you can varnish two or more layers for the protection sign your name also okay it's important to sign your name so people know that is your work okay hope you like it thank you for watching